Hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm going to do a little small video because I'm quite sick with the flu, right? I'm not even sure whether I will be well enough to do my Tuesday video because I'm quite sick. So I'll do just a small video with the ARC resin and uh, I'm going to do this little one here. And I've actually experimented with one that I did. And you can actually put resin and do like a coating of resin in it. And it looks beautiful when you do that. So you can do a lot with this arc resin. Right, so I'll start mixing, mix it and I'll come back. So I've got, I've got my powder and my liquid measured and like I said, I went into just resins side into their casting calculator and put how much I thought I would need. I probably will need more. I have no idea how much I will need for this and <laughs> excuse me. And then, and then I'll mix it and see whether I will need more or not. So I've put 80% of the liquid. And now I'm going to add the 20% that's left. And to be honest, I really don't think that this is going to be enough for this mold. It's not looking like there is much in there at all. So I might add a bit more. And yes, you can add on to it. I have done it. As long as you do the measurements correctly. <coughs> so I've mixed my colors and I've got some of the clear here. I have some of the, of the rose gold some of this pink in here and a little bit of black now the whole idea is to sort of just blend it in not not totally mix it yes so you have streaks of color which is what I'm trying to achieve. And then the last one, which is the black. And all I'm doing is going like this with it. So I have streaks. that's all you want you want like streaks of color and now you just pour it oh, excuse me I think I have a hair here somewhere
and it really doesn't matter how it comes out because you want the streaks anyway right you want the effect And that's about it and then you just let it set until it's it's done okay so bye for now so I think it's looks like it's quite set now Okay, so let's have a look. I think I might have to go this way. <coughs> Excuse me, honestly. I can't shake this virus off. Well, it's not a virus, it's the flu. Uh, Right, I think, I think it's out. All right, look at that. That's very pretty. I really, really love it. All the different colors, even on the sides. Okay, so all we have to do really is maybe sand it a little bit the bottom <coughs> excuse me and and seal it of course don't forget that you have to seal the these all right and I will be using wax to seal it <coughs> excuse me please excuse my cough trying my very best to still do a video for you guys. It is a little bit hard when you are feeling very unwell. So if I can't, if I'm not well enough to make one on Tuesday, please forgive me because I don't know how I will be. I'm trying my very best to get well, but it is a nasty virus. <coughs> okay, so all I will be doing is getting my wax and sealing it a bit with the wax and sanding a little bit on the bottom, but I don't want to do any sanding at the moment the way I am. And remember what I said, you can actually do a little bit of uh, resin inside like this one here. Look how beautiful that turned out. You can actually seal it, right? In ceramics, they call this glazing. And with ceramics, of course, you have to cook it. All right, you don't have to cook it. You just have to pour your resin all right, which is all I did. I poured the resin and I didn't even take the foam that sometimes you take with the, with your torch and it made that effect that you can see here. All right, and it looks beautiful. I think I will be doing that more often. All right, thank you very much for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe so I can continue doing these videos for you all. And thank you very much for all my subscribers and all this, the ones that watch my videos. Thank you and bye for now.